welcome to the Recital Centre for a very special live broadcast of the Conversation Hour with Melbourne's Indian community. And thank you all, thank you for coming along. We've got 130 or so members of Melbourne's Indian community. Thank you all for coming along. It's wonderful to have the opportunity to celebrate what's becoming an incredibly rich and important part of Melbourne's diverse culture. It gives me great, great pleasure to welcome Mr. Uh, Anil Kapoor. So, Mr. Kapoor, I'm curious to know because um, homosexuality is not a very um, no, it's still a social stigma in India. In fact, it's one of the areas that we're touching upon in the festival as a part of our equality theme. And I know that um, every year we program quite intentionally films that deal with homosexuality. And we also have a lot of community members who get very offended with us because they feel it's not part of Indian culture and so on. So being on mainstream cinema with a format like Modern Family where there is a gay couple have you got any thoughts how you're going to deal with that? Well, that's the first thing that, you know, that was, they asked me, I said, are you going to change it? I said, no, that's going to be my last point. Lovely. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that'd be great. Yeah. That'd be great. So is that deliberately to, in a way, throw down the gauntlet to contemporary India to say, come on, are we ready for this? I think, I think that's been my way of looking at things uh, all my career is to always think out of the box and uh, and i'm sh and, and audiences all over the world is always ready no matter from which country you are and india is definitely ready our next guest ladies and gentlemen is simi garawal could you make very very welcome to how did you get into the business because people often ask you this whole Bollywood phenomenon was in its infancy. How did it start for you? I just wanted to act. In, I just wanted to act, and I was living in London. And my father didn't like the idea of my wanting to be in films. He was in the army, a <laughs> typical army person. And uh, so I, uh, when I finished school, I went on a fast, a hunger strike. <laughs> and I don't recommend it. <laughs> and, but at least it showed my parents how serious I was about wanting to be an actress. So after two days, I heard my mother telling my father, I think she, she knows, she's really taking it very seriously. Let's give her a chance. Let's give her a year. And so my father said, OK, one year, go, the media is down, go to India, go to Bombay, and see if you can make it. If you can't make it within a year, you come back, and then you do exactly what I want you to do, which is to go off for higher studies. So I came back to Bombay. I didn't know anybody at all. I didn't know a human being. And I don't know where I found the courage. You can only do that when you're 15, believe me. <laughs> I can't do that later on. Could you please welcome Shujit Sirkar, director and producer of Pikul. Uh, the film is screening at our festival and uh, Mr. Sarkar, I was uh, telling him last night that one of the nice things about the film is when we had a press screening and at many of the screenings, we had lots of Australians <coughs> from Greek and Italian background who came and who came to me and said, I can't believe it. It was like I was having Christmas dinner, lunch with my family. It was just like my family. So I think the universal language of the film has been very, very appealing to all kinds of audiences. Yeah, I think so. And I think the most important universal fact about people is it deals with constipation. <laughs> I've been to many countries. I mean, still we, as an Indian, we feel that we are from third world country. But first time in Australia, I'm here, and I felt everybody was talking nicely to me, and I'm there having a conversation, which most of the country I don't, uh, I don't expect. Um, what do you mean you don't expect? Uh, I never felt I experienced those. So at least here, uh, from the immigration to my hotel to all the people on the streets. They are standing and talking to you and listening to you. I think that's very important and that's what impressed 